In this video, we have a very simple demonstration of how you can integrate Resolve Actions with HashiCorp Vault to dynamically generate and retrieve credentials. So your Resolve Actions automations can connect and authenticate with various third-party hardware, software, applications, devices, and other equipment. Now, all of the content that you're gonna see in this video today is available to Resolve customers who have access to the Resolve Automation Exchange, where you can browse, search, and download thousands of pre-built runbooks, action tasks, integration packs, and gateways for the Resolve Actions platform. For this use case demonstration, I've already created a basic automation that will SSH into a Linux server using a standard username and password, the automation then gets the CPU utilization information and checks its internet connection to the World Wide Web. If that connection is bad or is losing packets, then the automation flow will go down this red, bad path and create a new incident in our ITSM tool. Finally, the resolve automation will log out and disconnect the SSH session. It's, it's a very simple automation, but let's get into a, a little bit more detail. Now, as soon as I click on the SSH connect action task here, the task properties are displayed on the right hand side and I can view all of the acceptable parameters for this action task. The host name to connect to is specified as a parameter and I've defined a static username and password here. Now, all of these parameters can be substituted for properties, which allows you to store your credentials and resolves internal password vault using AES encryption. However, there are the still static credentials, right? And much of the world has moved on to use keys with passphrases and dynamic and rotating credentials. And HashiCorp Vault and other vendors can provide these modern centralized capabilities. So let's download and import the pre-built HashiCorp Vault Get Credentials Runbook from Resolve's Automation Exchange and add it into my automation flow. So just drag the automation element into the workflow just before the SSH connect action task, search for the runbook, HashiCorp get credential, and then click on done. Now before I configure this runbook, let's open it up and see what's in it. As with all Resolve runbooks, there is a page or presentation layer to the runbook. And this, for example, provides some basic instructions on what is needed to be configured as a one-time setup, you know, first-time instructions, such as creating several properties to store the vault URL, namespace, and username, password, or client token. I can specify the vault secret engine to use by configuring the request type parameter. Now, there are various vault secret engines available to store, generate, and retrieve various types of credentials, including tokens, secret keys, and certificates, etc. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to retrieve a rotating key value pair from the vault for my SSH connection credentials. So I'll need to configure request type to be KV, short for key value, and specify the KV path to my secret on the vault server. Finally, my credentials will be retrieved and stored in the vault username and vault password parameters, which I'll be able to reuse later on in my automation, i.e. the SSH connect action task. Now going back to my automation and after reading the instructions, I know I need to configure those parameters as shown here. So request type equals KV and KV path equals MER1. Now that could just be the path to uh, credentials for this particular server or for my data center or for an IP range, you can configure all that within the HashiCorp vault. Now I just need to adjust the credential parameters on my SSH connect action task to use the vault username and vault password parameters. Okay, let's save these changes and execute this automation to test it. And immediately I'll review the worksheet for the results of the specific automation execution. The worksheet shows the outcome of each of the action tasks within my automation, including the Vault sub runbook, which has successfully authenticated with the HashiCorp service and retrieved the credentials for use in the SSH connection. Following on, the automation retrieves the CPU utilization and checks the internet connection successfully. Okay, that brings us to the end of this short demonstration, um, but uh, you can also retrieve additional credentials uh, for example, you may want to retrieve a SSH key from the HashiCorp vault. 
So you just change request type to SSH key. Uh, you need to specify the role name. Uh, and sometimes you do need to specify the public key as well, although that can be retrieved automatically from the Resolve server that the automation has been run on. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe for notifications on newly released videos from Resolve, the IT automation company. Thank you again for watching this short video. Goodbye.